Hamadi! I was feeling some old monk. Whoa. It's only 11 in the morning. Wow. What are you doing right now? I'm feeling some old monk. Josh! I'd like to play a monk. That's weird. You'd like to play a monk? You don't want to play a monk? Uh, fine. It's not on my list like, of dream roles to play a monk. What if Quentin Tarantino is directing? Well, of course, but that has nothing to do with the monk. It has to do with Tarantino. Mm -hmm. But in my list of roles that I'd like to play, monk doesn't even make my top 25. I don't have a list uh, like that. Really? Yes, you do. You absolutely would like to play a psychopathic killer. Number one at the top of the list. Okay. A nut serial First killer. Of all, I have. Yeah. Second of all, uh, but I don't have a list. I, I mean, I have stuff that I'd like, but I don't have a list. Well, I don't have a literal list. You probably do, you I have weirdo. A, I have a Franz list. Am I right, everyone who likes classical music? What? Today we have uh, a video. This is, I think, a vlog. It's 14 wacky things about Indian culture. Woo! Yeah, bring us the whack! Funny and weird. This is from a channel called Drew... Binsky. Binsky. That reminds me, David Letterman did a thing, the top 10 things that have never been said on The Sopranos, and he got all the cast members of The Sopranos to say one of them. Gandolfini's statement, he was, of course, number one. Number one thing never said on The Sopranos, and Gandolfini looks at the camera and says, I whacked myself. <laughs> uh, he has 3.63 million subscribers. Nice, Drew. Uh, it's obviously a well-established channel. Uh, and so Crap. let's find out about the wacky things about Indian culture. I bet what we'll know. What the freak is that scab all about? Cancer. Oh. Here we go. India is a country unlike anywhere else I've ever been. <laughs> that guy looks like he was about to knife him. It's diverse yet spiritual, peaceful yet chaotic. I have no idea what's happening right now, but in the mornings, it's the best time of the day to explore. You have 1.4 billion people that come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking 720 dialects and practicing a half dozen major religions. For every church I see, there's two mosques and three Hindu temples. Whoa. India is a land of surprises. That's awesome. Wish we had color like that here when for holy. After spending almost four months traveling across the Indian subcontinent, That's awesome. I've noticed many things that are only found here. So allow me to introduce Indians. you to 14 wacky uh, only found in India. Indian culture. One, cricket is life. <laughs> One of the best things about India Cricket is a religion. Anywhere. We just pulled over in a random park, actually at the cemetery, and we found all these kids playing cricket, and they're teaching me how to play right now. Two, mustache men. <laughs> a large majority of Indian men have a mustache. For generations, they've been a symbol of manliness and power. So it's no surprise that an Indian man has the I like when they longest do this. mustache at yeah. 18 feet. Three, Hindu traditions. Over 1.1 billion Indians classify. I don't know if they're Indian only in India. Yeah, there's, <laughs> a, there's <laughs> only <laughs> Hindus in India. <laughs> men wear long skirts called veshtis. I love everything about it. Four, eating with hands. Again, All across only India, in India. Only in India. India. eating with their hands over utensils. It's one of my favorite things about Indian culture because it allows you to connect with the food on your plate. Does it? Five, head wobbling. Yes. When you're speaking with an Indian yes. in a conversation, they will wobble their head in many directions. I've adopted that. Yes, no, maybe, <laughs> or just a nod of It could mean anything. Six, bromance. It's not R -R -R. unusual for male friends to hold hands or hug each other in public. Westerners might see this as being homosexual, but it's certainly not viewed the same in Indian Let's culture. Let's homosexual. Seven, thumbs up. Sorry, Kobe. Yeah! Number one in India. Out here, it's all about thumbs up. Okay, my first time trying, thumbs up. It is with... I... It's Honestly, exactly like it's home. my favorite Not soda. Exactly. I love thumbs up. A little stronger flavor than Pepsi still better. Eight, cows blocking road in India. They do do that. Sacred and worship. They as do, result, but not nearly as frequently as Westerners think. Yeah. Cows with seven million. They just think they're old. everywhere. Right. The cows are often seen all over the roads and blocking traffic. Yeah, it depends on where you are. Nine, jira. After you finish any meal, yeah. they usually give you these small everywhere. little seeds called jira. Which they're is pretty good. A lot too. of restaurants, yeah, you with that stuff. You simply eat a small handful, and they put a great taste in your mouth. Uh, 
good. We ate fennel all the time. Fact, nobody celebrates weddings. That is 100% true. And it's kind of amazing. Many marriages here are arranged. My name is Vincent. I am marriage broker for eight years. And the divorce rate is very low. 11, 90% men. For some reason, I've noticed that the vast majority of people on the streets are men. So I'm always wondering, where are all the women at? <laughs> Twelve chalk drawings. That was odd. So these white markings in front of almost every house. Uh, it's not chalk. You know, accepting the goddess Lakshmi, which uh, signifies prosperity. It's not chalk. Their house. So it is very disrespectful to step on them. Thirteen charcoal ironing. Here in India, some of their irons they run on charcoal. Oh wow! Oh, I did not know that. That's cool. Three hours. Fourteen saying W V. Yes. Indians have a hard time saying the V sound, yep. so they usually turn V's into W's. Kids are made to do, but what? But what? I had to do that a hundred times when I was a kid. It's like my name is Treasury Wala, and for years people have saying been saying Treasury Wala, so I cut off the Wala, and I'm like, hey, I'm Treasury. So there you have it. Fourteen wacky things about Indian culture. If you see or hear any of the things mentioned above, then you can be sure you're traveling <laughs> from the one and only country. I like that guy. India. Good hand movements. Man. I'm Drew Bisky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe. You know what he looks like? Me. I don't know if you know this because you're a little older and it wasn't for you, but he looks like Junie from Spy Kids, just older, who's married to Oh, me. you know what? Who looks? Who's? Yeah, he does look a little. I know who you're talking about exactly. Married it's, to Megan Trainer. Yeah. He's uh, her baby daddy. Yeah, I, uh, you're right. He does. It's uh, That was a big part of uh, my generation's culture. Now, I... Of the times I've been to India, uh, I which is never, three times. It is. It's it's t twice to Kolkata, yeah. and then the Delhi, one time Delhi we took we a trip yeah, where yeah, we yeah. hit Delhi, Jaipur, yeah. Amritsar, and Mumbai. And you'll go back once your wife's <laughs> exactly once the <laughs> United States immigration boy. So much fun. Um, They're most the most well run part of our government. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the I I do not remember and i'm pretty i'm aware of these kinds of things I, i'm a people watcher i'm aware of demographics i'm always aware of what's going on around me i have situational awareness and threat assessment and all those kinds of things so i'm paying really close attention i do not recall there being this disparage not this disproportionate amount of men versus women. i guess it just probably depends on where you are and what times holy obviously is unless it's a private event yeah Women don't go out and celebrate holy in the streets unless it's a private event with people they know. Okay. Um, yeah, I just didn't, that, that didn't seem, nor does that seem to be a particular, I mean, if but, you want to talk about only seeing men on the streets, go to, go to you know, but Saudi Arabia. But granted, we, places we've been are all big modern cities, right? True. So this, oh, guy, sure this guy looks like he's been to like, if he was there for four months, maybe he went to much more rural yeah parts of it maybe right. uh maybe and then for his experience maybe yeah yeah obviously we went to i'm sure he's not making it up we went to experience. mumbai you went to bengal yeah. delhi yeah. uh amritsar which and even in, and I'd Kolkata, still, a lot I'd of say, women on the streets uh, there there probably would be more men but not in a insane like noticeable right disproportionate way, amount except for like if like like uh, holy obviously yeah i don't i don't think women just go because obviously uh there's bad stuff that happens to yeah women yeah with when they're in close quarters with men yeah i'll let you decide what that is um definitely but, a, 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 for sure indian culture specific the bigness of the weddings is a hundred percent. Head nod, eating with the, the hands. Head nod, the... eating with hands. All this was at. I mean, I would know. Yeah. Obviously, this oh, you didn't guy... make anything up for sure. No, no, no. This guy knows what he's talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. Good video. Uh, if we were able to stay in India for a while, I'd love to do these types of videos. I know. And that stuff, obviously, but. Um, and any... if I could, if my wife could, yeah, yeah, right. Be allowed. And for the, what I was referring to, my my beautiful wife, while she's, it's astonishing while she's in this process of transitioning from her K-1 visa, we got married. And She's now that, transitioning? That, that transitions into her travel certificate, her work permit, and then ultimately green card. Mm -hmm. While she's in that process, immigration says you can't leave America for any reason. If you have a family emergency, you have to prove it. And even then we'll say, no, you can't get back in. We didn't know that was going to be the thing when she got here, that she is basically locked into the United States of America and is not allowed to go back to India until they 
say it's okay and try communicating with immigration. I, I spoke to an immigration attorney who said, yeah, even we can't communicate with them mm. very easily. It's yeah. unfortunately you're at their mercy to just let them communicate when they're going to communicate. So yeah. Uh, I, I, even if I wanted to go, even like, for example, if I was filming a movie in Canada, for example, yeah. right across the border, she can't come with me mm. yet yeah. until immigration gets off their booties. Yep. Yep. Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about the video and other videos that we can react to down below. Josh!